All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company, out here in Ohio. But check this out here, 24 by 36, and this video here, I wanna show you how we do a couple things, the overhead door, then also sliding door, how we do this, okay? So two different things on this video. You can see this sliding door, all right? We use a two by 10, and then also we do a two by six. But I wanna take you inside here and show you okay. how these guys, they're knocking this out. This is day three and crew of four here. So day three and moving out. But you can see here on the inside here, see that two by 10 right up there. And then let's move it just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Then we also take that two by six as well here for the sliding door. Now you can see what we do as far as the stop the slider here. Have this two by six wedged up there. You can see how it's affixed to that truss right there, two by six. That'll stop the truss, or not the truss, but it'll stop the slider. And then over here as well, you see that two by six that we affix as well. So that stops the, the uh, slider from going. So just a little tip there for you guys out there that want, maybe want to do a slider instead of an overhead door. But let's go over here. I want to show you the next thing is the overhead door on this building right here. Now, and you see you got a two by 12 because what you want to watch out for is you don't want to sag. Now, again, this is not a wide span here, but you get a wider span, you got to be careful on the sag here on the overhead door. So you can see what these guys have done, the builders here. Again, do you see those two, two by sixes? Again, they run it right against the bottom of the truss. Again, gives it that extra support. That way you're not gonna have a sag in the metal and so forth. So that kind of gives you an idea how we do our doors from a slider door, but also let's say more conventional, I don't know more conventional, but an overhead door. So kind of gives you an idea. All right, keep it locked and loaded right here at Lumber since 1925.